With the exception of embattled Kise Stable, it's an exciting time for the sumo community right now, as evidenced by the reaction to the latest rankings chart. Soul Yokozuna Terunofuji has fully grasped his sumo leadership role and has vowed to carry November's momentum into 2022 and maintain it. Ominously for the rest, Tedu is now convinced of his ability to form his ideal stance, frontal left, inside right, and do the relevant damage. Since turning pro, I've tried to make the most of my size, he said, and I want to go forward even if first letting my foe come to me. It's important to have big aims, he continued, quoting from his last title speech. And next year, I'm going for the four titles I need to bring me into double figures. Under the six annual tournament system, no man has ever won his first three meets at Yokozuna. Although Takanohana came exceedingly close. In fact, to winning his first 11. Yes, you did hear that right. Much has also been made of the twelfth pair of siblings to reach Division 1, a feat Wakataka Kage and Wakamoto Haru have now achieved thanks to the latter's promotion. I've been inspired to get here by my younger brother, Motoharu confirmed, and while not obsessing over it, I will try my best not only to match, but even to overtake him. However, as I was stuck in Division 2 a long time, I don't fully believe I can survive at this level yet. Motoharu has, however, been boosted by a gift given on his recent return home to Fukushima, a fairly accurate replica of his Komusubi grandfather's silk apron, with a New Year's lion dance theme. The original was in my family's Chanko restaurant in my childhood, he recalled. Grandpa's likely watching from heaven, so I want to look decent for him. Motoharu's been joined at the top level, of course, by another sumo family grandson, Oho, who takes the Maegashira 18 slot created after Hakuho's retirement. Doesn't that sound like fate? I'm so pleased I can now join the TV schedule, the very bouts I watched as a kid, he basically said. I've made my size count in training this year, and now feel that even higher rankers can't beat me if I slot into my favoured stance. I'm eager to learn just how far my sumo tools can take me in Division 1. Asked if he might try to match Grandpa Taiho's 12 wins on Top Division debut, he replied, I can't set targets like that. I just want to try my utmost and I hope to deploy much of what I've learned while attending to Takakesho. Elsewhere, there have been no further developments with the Kisei Stable gambling affair, with Sumo Press Chief Shibatayama suggesting the investigators' regular jobs might prevent them from being both rapid and thorough. The concerning thing for even innocent wrestlers there is that their stable may be forced to close for the second time in 11 years. Kise was liquidated once in 2010 after it was scapegoated for providing tickets to the underworld, and only reopened in 2012 after Coach Kise signed a contract promising not to cause another scandal. Oh dear. The final day of Interstable was held yesterday, and Takayasu reigned supreme as ever. 19 and 3 was his final score built upon several wallops of Wakataka Kage and Kiribayama. If only he could replicate that in tournaments. Ozeki candidate Mitake Umi again raised eyebrows by fighting fewer and fewer bouts each day before missing the final morning completely. Sanke Sports noted that on day three, his left ankle seemed to trouble him. Overall, the complete absence of Ozeki and Yokozuna drew groans from the press. It is what it is, said grumpy supervising coach Hanakago. But we must finish today on a positive, and it's the most exciting news I've brought you for some time. 18-year-old Taiki Tebakari, 
the brother of Kotoshoho I've been singing about for the past three years, has, this week, turned pro. The race to sign him was intense, and some of the tactics used by sumo coaches bordered on the comical. In the end, though, he has settled on Sarugatake, and will thus train every day with his brother, just nine kilometers from his family home. How exciting it must be to aim for the Pro Sumo Summit practically in your own backyard.